to What's Right with the World with your host, Glenn Ambrose. Hey, welcome to the show, everyone. What's right with the world? Here we are. And we are talking about a feel-good story today. Oh, this is definitely a feel-good story. This is such a fun story. This is coming from the New York Post. Um, so a homecoming queen nails the game-winning kick. <laughs> uh, this is from Ocean Springs, Mississippi. One Mississippi high school senior had to quickly discard her crown after being named homecoming queen and put on a football helmet. Kaylee Foster was crowned homecoming queen of Ocean Springs High School before Friday night's football game. She then put on her football uniform and kicked the winning extra point to lead her team to a 13-12 victory over George County High School. Uh, Foster kicked two field goals earlier, giving her a majority of the team's points. Primarily a soccer player, she has been kicking with the football varsity team since she was a sophomore and has been a member of the homecoming court for four years. She put her crown on back back on after the game, posing for photos in her football uniform and tiara. Asked whether she was more nervous before the homecoming queen announcement or before the kick, she said, I was pretty sure I wasn't going to be homecoming queen, but I was also pretty sure I was going to make the kick. <laughs> How fun of a story is that? That's some fun stuff. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're living in a different world where people are a lot more open minded where that's happening. You know, yeah. And but it is. It's cool. You know that that. Uh, and I, <laughs> you you were telling me about the story, and and then like when you said it was the game winning field goal, I was like, ooh, that's even like that's even more exciting. You know. Oh, yeah. No, she didn't just kick a field goal. I mean, she scored the majority of the team's points. Right. You know, nine of... Um, they won 13 to 12. So if she scored nine of their points, then they got two safeties? Uh, yeah, either that or maybe maybe they scored a touchdown. No. She kicked an extra point. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But she She lit it up. So... <laughs> so that that's the important thing. And and it's talk about open mindedness, you know, to 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 where we are now. I mean, I think that that's huge to to be able to, you know, have girls on on the football team and to be able to do something like this. I mean, like I grew up in a big hockey town and um it it happened and it wasn't I don't know. It wasn't that weird for me. There, there was a few girls that played hockey that would play on the guys' teams. And, you know, at first you, you're like, what? They got a girl on their team, you know, at first. And then all of a sudden, like, you got used to it so quickly because yeah. there's a reason that they're on the team. It's because they're good. Right. You know? And it was just kind of accepted. And it's like you, you know, so I, I think I, I grew up – maybe on the verge of that just starting to become a little bit more accepted. And in my town it was because, you know, it was such a big hockey town that, you know, darn well, that there's going to be girls that are going to take an interest in it and, and end up playing. So, so yeah, it's, it's, I, I think it, it is a feel good story. It's um, I mean, the excitement level of all those kids must've been off the charts, you know? Oh Yeah. That's so cool. That is so, so cool for the homecoming queen to also be the hero of the football. Because that's a narrative. You know what I mean? Like the narrative of the homecoming king also being the like star quarterback or whatever is yeah. such a, is such a, like a trope. You know what I mean? Like Ooh, that's such a trope. A, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, Good but word, man. thanks, man. So, but that's <laughs> such a, that's such a narrative, you know, for, um, for like classic, uh, sports movies or right, TV yeah. shows, you know, like the homecoming queen or the prom king. Well, homecoming, cause it's in the fall homecoming king is also the, the star football player. And for, for it to be the homecoming queen, who's the star football player and, you know, not only scores the majority of the points, but kicks the game winning field goal is so cool. And, yeah. uh, you know, this is her third year playing football if she's a senior. And this um, is also like you said that you picked this up, um, in New York. 
This is, yeah, the New York Post. And it's a Mississippi school. Right. So this is gaining national attention. Yeah. To, you know, which, which expands people's minds. And that's what it's all about. You know, keep your mind. It's, this is why you keep, <laughs> this is why you keep your mind open because there may have been, uh, uh, and they're very, there probably was a guy that was trying out to be a kicker on the football team who wasn't as good. They might have lost that game, but instead their mind was open enough to allow a girl to come in, be the kicker, and because they had an open mind, they won the game. <laughs> you know? Right? Yeah. Like it's it's just be, because you picked the the player that was. <laughs> the dog's freaking out about something. She's uh, yeah, excited. You, you, She's excited. She's a fan of football. Yes, that's what it is. Faith loves football. <laughs> Yeah, she's pumped up. So, so yeah. So th- this is a this is another great story. Congrats to her and and the school for for the <laughs> winning the game and and you know winning the homecoming games always the big deal. Yeah. So so Definitely. congrats on that and and yeah, congrats for having having the open mind to allow something like that to happen. It's a great story, and it's a great story for the time that we're living in. You know. Um, yeah, it's a yeah, great it, reminder uh, of uh, just things that you probably, you know, it's a story that you might not have thought was possible, you know, years ago. And, right. um, and it's so cool. And it's also to be the, um, cause there's also stigmas of, you know, like a, a, a female who is a jock and wants to play with the boys might not yeah, be the person yeah. you would think would be, you know, like, uh, but um, just breaking down those barriers, you know, because it's not necessarily the person who you'd think would also be homecoming queen, but the fact that she's both just, you know, really cuts down those stereotypes. Right. And that's yeah. awesome. That's it awesome. Is. So awesome. Yeah, it is. It's, it, it's just really, I think the big thing with this one is it's just mind expanding in a lot of different ways. You know, if you look at all the 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 preconceived notions and ways to look at things throughout history, and you look at all the different pieces of this, it's like, oh, you know, people usually think of this, and and that breaks down that stereotype, and people usually think of this, and this breaks down that stereotype. So it does have a lot of those little things that breaks down a lot of those typical stereotypes, and um, and that's what you know, that's what's right with the world is being able to break down those stereotypes. Absolutely. And so. if you have more stuff like this, share it with us, The Great Love Project on Facebook, Glenn Ambrose Life Coaching on Facebook. Uh, want more information? Go to glennambrose.com. And if you'd like to support the show or see video versions of it and a bunch of extra content, uh, support us on patreon.com slash glennambrose. Thanks, Glenn. Absolutely. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll talk at you soon. Glenn is available for life coaching sessions. To book an appointment or for more information, go to glennambrose.com, follow him on Facebook and Twitter, or click the link in the description of this episode. 